Hi YouTube, this is Wingman. Today I'm going to be showcasing a few of my air pistols. Um, in a past review I showed you my Crossman 2240 Tactical. Today I'm going to be showing you a few of my other air pistols um, and show you some practical shooting. I really love shooting air pistols and air rifles. I believe that it's a good way to uh, keep your skills set up. Saves you a ton of money versus shooting powder burners. And uh, it's a great way to teach uh, new shooters, you know, how to do basic gun safety skills, you know, in your backyard while you're having fun. Uh, today I'm going to showcase the Crossman 2240. I had this gun built from the Crossman Custom Shop. And as you can tell, it has my nice little wingman logo on there. This is a 22 caliber air pistol. Uh, I had them put on a 10 inch barrel. I believe that a 10 inch barrel for this configuration is probably the best setup, you know, uh, in regards to um, using it as maybe a hunting pistol and carrying it. Uh, it comes with a couple different variations. I believe you can get a 7 inch, this is a 10 inch, and you can get up to a 14 inch. Uh, I didn't believe for this configuration that a 14 inch was necessary and I thought maybe a 7 inch barrel for this sort of setup may have been too slow. Of course once again with all my videos this is a personal preference and this is like eating pizza. Everybody likes their different flavor of pizza. I happen to like this configuration in this air gun. Uh, this air gun takes a 12 gram CO2 cartridge. Uh, I had Crossman put on a steel breech a 22 caliber breech and the reason I did that is because I like to do these add-ons and I had a uh, center point red dot put on there uh, also had them put on a muzzle brake and this muzzle brake is more to basically protect the crown uh, to keep that from getting damaged um, surprisingly this gun shoots very well you know I also had them put on another uh, trigger shoe and it also has a trigger brake set screw as you can see right there and you can adjust it to where you know the trigger will stop um, for this being a basic crossman setup the basic 2240 frame and uh, doing the add-ons this gun shoots surprisingly well and you know it's not really that expensive you know if you piece this out at the crossman shop Without the scope, this was around $100 for a custom build. Me personally, I think that's a great value for what you get. I got the basic plastic grips. Um, I didn't feel there was a need at this time for me to get, you know, the custom wooden grips like Coco Bolo or Walnut that they have. If that's your cup of tea, they have them available for you. Um, I bought the red dot at Walmart. Hopefully, it'll pick it up on screen. Let me turn it on, hopefully. I doubt that it will, because it's still kind of daylight out. But the sight picture on there, the sight picture is pretty good. Um, it came with a 30 millimeter scope mount, so I had to go on the internet and find scope mounts that would fit in 11 millimeter grooves on this breech. So that's one thing to consider, you know, when you purchase stuff. Um, maybe at Walmart and that because they're configured for actual rifles and pistols not air pistols per se um, it, normally the rails on here are 11 millimeter or 3 8 and sometimes you get lucky and you find something that's configured to that unfortunately on this one it wasn't I wanted this scope though so on the internet I think I found them for like five bucks you know and then when shipping was another couple dollars so it was delivered to my house uh, tell you what we'll load up with a uh, powerlet we'll put some pellets in there and let's get some footage of shooting some cans here in the backyard okay, the red dot turned on we're gonna sight it in as you can tell this one hits pretty hard It just gives you an idea on how hard that hits. Now, I use this pellet pistol. I hunt squirrels with this. I've hunted crows, rabbits. I mean, this is a pretty hard hitting air pistol. Okay, so that's the Crossman 2240 
uh, from the custom shop. Oh, one side note. I had this power adjuster put on from Melon Air and basically there's a spring in here that hits the hammer spring to open the valve to get CO2 in and by adjusting this tension on the spring it'll let more air in uh, to get just a little more velocity out of that pellet. Um, I've used this pellet gun I mean for shooting squirrels I've even shot a couple crows with it and a couple rabbits and yes I do have a hunting license uh, here in my state so this is an overview of my Crossman 2240 from the custom shop. This is Wingman. Thanks for watching.